English file, intermediate level, reading activity, page 82. Going the extra mile. In the age of social media, a story about a good or bad customer service experience is not limited to you and your friends. The best stories can go viral on social networks very quickly, bringing good or bad publicity to companies overnight. Here are five heartwarming true stories that reached millions of people because of the power of the internet. Nordstrom. One day, a member of the security staff in a Nordstrom department store noticed a woman crawling around on her hands and knees in the clothes department. She said she was looking for a diamond that had fallen out of her wedding ring while she was trying on clothes earlier that day. The man got down on the floor and searched with her. Then he asked a group of cleaners to help, and they searched too. Finally, they looked through all the dirt in the vacuum cleaners and found the woman's diamond. Morton's The Steakhouse Peter Shonkman was boarding a flight to Newark Airport near New York. It was dinner time and he knew he would be starving when the plane arrived. There's a Morton's near the airport, one of Peter's favorite restaurants. So he tweeted, Hey, at Morton's, can you meet me at Newark Airport with a steak when I land in two hours? Thanks. He was joking. But amazingly, when he got off the plane in the arrivals area, there was a Morton's waiter with a bag that contained a steak, potatoes, bread, napkins, and a knife and fork, all three. Roots Carlton Hotels Chris Hearn's family spent their holiday at Roots Carlton Hotel in Florida. Unfortunately, when they got home, they realized that they had left Chris's young son's favorite toy, Joshi the giraffe, at the hotel. The child was very upset, so Chris told him that Joshi was staying at the hotel for a bit of extra holiday. That evening, the hotel phoned to say that they had found Joshi. Chris thanked them and explained that he told his son that Joshi was having an extra holiday. Two days later, a parcel arrived. In it was Joshi, a present of a frisbee and a football, and a photograph of Joshi by the hotel pool. Trader Joey's At Christmas a few years ago in Pennsylvania, USA, it snowed so hard that an 89-year-old man couldn't leave his home. His daughter was worried that he didn't have enough food. She called several stores and asked if they would deliver food to her father's home, but they all said no. Eventually, she spoke to someone at a store called Trader Joe's. They also told her that they didn't deliver normally, but because she was so worried, they said that they would make an exception. The employee then wished her a Merry Christmas. Half an hour later... The food arrived at her father's house with a note saying that it was free. Apple A man bought the latest iPad online, but when his wife saw it, she thought it was too expensive. So he immediately sent it back to Apple. He put a post-it note on the screen that said, Wife said no. Apple employees thought this was very funny. And the story reached to senior managers who decided to do something about it. They refunded his money, but they also sent the iPad back to him with another post-it note saying, Apple said yes.